In high school, I decided I wanted to be an archaeologist, just a plain archaeologist. And even that career, to me, was sort of fantastical. I didn't really think it was a real career until my mother encouraged me to go on with it and to actually pursue it. I came to Greece on my very first archaeological field school, where I got to learn all the basic excavation techniques. But I also saw the excavation of human remains. And to me, to see those slowly be exposed really affected me and, and made me relate more to the, the history of the archaeology that I was observing on the surface. My name is Caitlin Stiles and I am studying bioarchaeology, which is the study of human skeletal remains in specific archaeological contexts. I'm here on a Fulbright Fellowship for student researchers and I've spent the year traveling and studying my material. Bioarchaeology is a small branch of biological anthropology, and so what we're really interested in looking at is culture. Essentially, I go through each unit that I'm working on and identify each fragment of bone that can be identified. And in doing that, I also take any measurements I'm able to, if it's a bone that has diagnostic material about age or sex, I record that and all of this gets entered into a database that I'm uh, keeping for the whole site. The marks on their bones can tell us things about how they were using their bodies, which may tell us things about what they were doing in their daily lives. I think the Fulbright program gives students like me the opportunity to really delve into a culture and get to know a culture on a level that most people don't get to experience. It turned out to be much better than I expected it would be and so I got to see so many different parts of Greece and really broaden my own knowledge of the landscape of the topography and the people which I think in the end will be hugely helpful for my own research. It's been great and I think that not only does it support you while you're here, but it does really seem to want to help you in the future and, and see what it can do for you then, not just now. So I think that's special as well.